So you, you built a, a, a LED feedback, uh, uh, biofeedback for EEG. Essentially, yes. yes. Uh -huh. yeah. So by viewing yourself kind of calming down, if you see the yellow LED, for example, and if you're trying to breathe and aid in relaxation, you can kind of try to get yourself to be more relaxed and going towards the green stage. Um, or and if you're so, trying to get ex more excited, you can make yourself go to the red. Okay, so there's three different LEDs down here, red, green, mm -hmm. and then yellow. Mm -hmm. And and the intensity, and, and, and over here on the, on the, uh, on the display is mm -hmm. uh, sort of the instantaneous ECG. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right, we're yes. using the TFT kind of like an oscilloscope. Uh huh. And um, that's partly because you have to be completely ground isolated, right? right. You cannot use the oscilloscope, so you're pl you're using a power mm -hmm. supply off of the off the laptop, yes. mm -hmm. but the laptop is not plugged in. And really, yes. you could just use a battery pack because you're yeah. not doing anything on the laptop, right? Right. right we could just use a battery pack. We just. Um, Right, we are, we're using our battery pack to power like our amplifier mm -hmm. circuit, so it's right into the 4.5, negative 4.5 uh -huh. volt like, rails. So, so then, and and how are you determining the 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 color of the LED, which LED is on? Is by the ratio of, of yes. So, so what we ended up doing in our processing is that after the brain waves go through this uh, this filtering circuit and this amplifier circuit, um, with a gain total gain of I think 1250, mm -hmm. it goes to the pick through ADC, and then after taking 512 ADC samples, we pa pass it through an FFT, and then within that FFT, we take the bins that are associated with more excited frequencies and the bins that are associated with more calm frequencies, and we add up all of those bins, place the calm samples over the excited to get. Get a certain ratio of how calm you are versus how excited you are. So this 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 gets rid of amplitude variations. It normalizes. It, it clumps together frequencies, which helps with noise, signal to noise. Right. Okay. And then we also have a three-point filter in time. So this average ratio that you see is displayed on the screen is actually the average of three of FFTs taken in time. So it kind of minimizes any kind of noise that might happen. Um, okay. that way. So there is variance in brain waves between person to person. Um, like as we discovered when we did it, I tend to I tended to have like more higher frequency brain waves. Um, so something that we c um, would want to do like in future applications would maybe be to calibrate this um, so that each individual person could like base, get a base brain wave state mm -hmm. and then like control the red and green thresholds based off of that. Um, but due to time reasons, we weren't able to complete that aspect. So we managed to come up with some thresholds that were pretty true for, I guess, most people. So they're not, like, exactly 100% in tune to, I guess, your okay, but, 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 levels, but, you but did, they're pretty you, general. You did some some heuristic tuning, mm -hmm. basically. Yes. Yeah. And and so you tend to bias towards the red? Yeah, I tend to bias towards the red. Uh huh. Then I tend to bias towards green, apparently. Okay. Which makes us, you know, good partners for that. You can figure out the middle pretty well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so actually one of the methods we were thinking about in terms of doing this calibration was um, instead of taking 512 points and taking the FFT of that and keeping that as like separate FFTs, um, we were thinking of just taking five or like a few minutes worth of data in total. So taking all those ADC samples and sorting that entire thing and taking the FFT of only the highest bins um, mm -hmm. of the sorted versions and the lowest bins. So we figured that would be a good way if we had enough memory to store all of those samples. Right. That was the only right. um, concern there. Um, but that would get you um, that would get you to say what is your maximum state that you could potentially reach in terms of calm average, and the, the lowest you could reach in terms of excited. Okay. And based on that, we could set some sort of threshold. Uh, that would be a good way to do that. Um, we're also displaying the FFT on here, um, the FFT spectrum. Right. So yeah, we actually that. have two modes um, that are controlled by a switch. So and alongside with the brain waves, you can see the actual FFT spectrum as well. Right, okay. Um, so while we were doing this, some of the things that we encountered was um, there's a lot of power line noise that happens. Yeah. So in order to counteract that, uh, it's, it's basically we were able to see that 59 hertz was the peak frequency in, in a lot of cases. So in order to do that, we kind of like uh, coiled the wires together. So, you, so you, did, you did the usual sort of control. You did, did uh, interference control mm -hmm. both by... By careful wiring and by yeah, and I see you, I see you looking like you. I mean, I can see you trying to calm down and take a deep breath. And when you when you're when you see that you've gone into red mode, there is that is that useful? It um it is. I mean, like I can make myself kind of like go into the red mode if I'm like really focused or thinking about something. It kind of makes me do that. Um, see if I can do that. Um, and if I jump up behind you and scare you again. <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, but you're... Yeah, there's some... There's a little loose. Okay, but... Okay, let me cut this off then.